While pension plans may no longer be the norm for many businesses, there are plenty of soon to be retirees that will be tapping into their pension savings in the near future. And the crucial decision is always take the monthly payout, pay, payouts or take the lump sum. So Corey Sickles is the president of Safe Harbor Retirement Group and here to help us today. And Corey, you say a lot of companies actually kind of asking this question to their employees before they even retire. Like, what are you going to do? What can we do? Right? I mean, this is something that they really have to consider heavily. They do, and if you know from the the person's going to make the decision, the one thing you don't want it to be is overwhelming for them, right? Right. right. And one of the things I think that you're seeing a lot of companies do is they don't they don't want to be in a situation where they're going to be paying pensions for 20 to 30 years. So they're they're definitely given options now to the you know to the ex employees to be able to take the lump sum or take the monthly payment. All right, so the difference between the two, obviously, in complete layman's terms, what are we looking at as far as the difference? Well, it's, it's pretty simple if you take the pension, right? I mean, you're going to receive a certain amount of money if, for as long as you and probably your spouse live. Okay. And, and then it's actually done at that point in time. Or you can take a lump sum, which means they're actually not going to pay you any type of monthly payments. It's now you have a big lump sum and it's for you to be able to manage. And, and there's, there's another option out there too. Oprah's is, is pretty common with this, is where they actually allow you to actually take a monthly pension plus what they call a plop, which means you get a portion of your lump sum, which lowers your overall benefit, but now you, but you still have an option to be able to do both. All right, so there are risks, there are benefits, there are pros, cons, right, to each one, depending on your situation. So what, what do you kind of need to be aware of when you're trying to make the decision? Well, the one thing you need, definitely need to be aware of is when you do take a lump sum, right, if you do it the proper way, there is no tax consequence at all. You can roll it over into your own IRA. You can then invest it the way that you want to be able to invest it. Take money out when you want to take money out because you might not necessarily need the income. Everyone's situation is a little bit different. Right. If you actually take, if you actually receive the payment, odds are you're not going to see any increases in your monthly payments as well, which over the long term, you know, with inflation and things like that, yeah. your spending power is actually going to go down over the long term, where if you invested in the market, you get some upside on it, you're going to be able to keep up with inflation. And there is something called inflation protection. Is that where that would come in? Yeah, kind of? Yes, it, okay. it really comes into, yeah. So when you, when you start talking about inflation protection, I mean, really the one thing that you really want to be able to do is you want to be able to have an increase in your monthly payments. Right, as inflation goes up, That's you want correct. that to go up. And right? really the only way to be able to do that is to be able to probably take a lump sum and be able to invest it the way that you want to. Okay. I mean, some, you know, some out there, some state, as well as, you know, like STRS and, and things like that, you might get a bump every one, three, five years, but you're even, see, even seeing government, you're, you know, government pensions now starting to take away some of your increases on, on your payments because they don't want to keep paying that over, over your lifetime. Exactly. Okay, so let's talk about the tax portion of this too, because when you withdraw is just as important as what you choose to withdraw, That's right? Correct. So, of course, if you receive a pension, it's a, it's a, whatever that monthly pension amount is, that is taxable. So that will count as income. If you roll it over into your own IRA, you're only taxed when you actually take a withdrawal. So it's kind of up to you on how much you want to take, when you want to take it. Of course, at 70 and a half, you have to start taking it because it's an IRA. So you have to start taking out your required. And if you do take a lump sum and cash the entire point out there, it's going to have a, a tax consequence. If you're not 59 and a half, then you're also going to have a 10% penalty. So I mean, one of the things we try to do with our clients is everyone's situation is unique. A lot of it has to do with income planning. Right. So, so one of the things we, we really try to do is find the right solution for, for you. And the other thing to consider if you want to leave something when you pass, as you mentioned, the monthly payment ceases with you and your spouse, whereas if you did the lump sum, you could do a little more probably money management. But it all depends on what your, your life is, what your goal is. Yeah, the majority of my clients probably take the lump sum because if something does happen to you and your spouse, the payments end. Okay. So if you take the lump sum, something happens to you two or three years from now, at least all that money that you have, you're going to be able to give to your beneficiaries. All right. You can talk it all over with Corey. Safe Harbor Retirement, always a complimentary first session, so you can um, reach out anytime. They've got two offices, so find the one nearest you at safeharborohh.com. Corey, thank you. Thank you.